When you're going on a walk or a hike in Kentucky, remember to always have a buddy with you to wear proper shoes like tennis shoes or hiking boots. And it's really important to apply bug spray. It is a good idea to spray it directly on your shoes or hiking boots to keep the bugs away. Things that we will be looking for, touching, and maybe smelling on our hike today are mushrooms, dandelions, red buds, onions, purple dead nettles, violets, poppies, ramps, and water. As you're walking along the road or in the woods, you may look down and see a mushroom. They will look a lot like this. Another thing you might see walking along the road is a dandelion. If you are walking along a wooded area, you may see some purple looking trees in the distance. Those are red buds. You can take a picture of them and their flowers are very, very pretty. Um, when you get up close, you'll see their little pink and purple and red colors coming through. Whether you're walking around your yard or in the woods, you'll probably find some onions this time of year sticking up, a little taller than the grass. If you pull the bottom of those up, you can put them up to your nose and give it a sniff and you'll smell them and know for sure if they're onions or not. Another plant that you can do this with are these purple dead nettles that are sticking up this time of year. Some other flowers you might see are blue violets or pine violets, which are yellow, or even some yellow poppies, which are especially pretty this time of year. Poppies like to live in moist areas, so where you find them, you may also notice some water. Another thing to look for are wild ramps. As you're walking around, if you find some mushrooms growing on logs, you can um, pick them and take them home for a little activity, which I'm going to show you how to do. Um, if you don't have mushrooms or woods to find them in, then you can always just get store-bought mushrooms for this activity. You um, basically will need some kind of glass jar, like a mason jar or a jam jar or I have here a cake topper. You will um, need a pair of scissors to cut the stem off of the mushroom and cut it as close to the cap as you can. Um, then you will take your mushrooms and sit them on top of a piece of paper. And you can experiment with different mushrooms to see what kind of different spore print they leave. Um, you'll need a little drop of water on top of each mushroom after you sit it on the paper. And it's really kind of important that you don't put too much water on them um, for this to work. So you just want to be really frugal with your water. And then after you get water placed on them, you can sit them um, underneath their glass topper for anywhere from 2 to 24 hours. Here is an example of one that I let set overnight. If you do a quick search online, you can find directions for how to make mushroom spore prints with supermarket mushrooms. One particular website is HowWeMontessori.com. After experimenting with spore prints, I realized that the spore prints actually work best if you place each individual mushroom under its own glass. As you can see here, this is a better way to collect spore prints for mushrooms. Thanks for joining me on our first virtual hike. Um, I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy at home, and I look forward to sharing more of my adventures with you in the next few weeks.